Some post arrived just the other day. Came to my front door in the usual way. It was full of tat and things of wit to play. The postie walked away before I uh, messed up. No matter though. Now, if you follow me on Discord, you know that I have multiple hobbies, and one of them, sort of recently, sort of in the past, if you look down through the video list, was a software defined radio through one of the DVB dongles. So, recently, within a few, a few weeks ago, really, um, I started playing again with a TV dongle that I had set up on a PC and to find out that it was a software defined radio compatible thing and it was kind of neat because there's a lot of aeroplanes fly over my house and I could try to start tracking them because they have a digital signature type thing and I had a really crappy little antenna and a really crappy thing and it all kind of worked. Um, and you may know I was on vacation recently, so I took that all with me and it was great. But it was really annoying because you have to set up the different drivers for it. So if you want to use it as a TV, you have to go through and, and set the drivers one way. And then if you want to use it as a, a radio, you have to go do something. And it was just cocking up. It was really annoying me. So I thought, I'm going to get another one. And this is one that's just for radio, as far as I know. I don't know if it can do DVB or if you can plug it into a DVB uh, decoder. Possibly, but I'm going to say no. Um, and the idea of this is they have a wide frequency band. I believe it's around, oh, I want to say, like 500 megs to 1.7 gigs. You'd have to check, really. I do apologise for being so ill-informed. I'm not a radio guy. And then this thing here is called the Ham It Up. And what this does, it brings it down to, I think, 125 kilohertz. So it's a, an up converter, I want to say. Something that takes a lower frequency and, and in, boosts it up so that you can uh, hear it on your, your device that receives on different frequency range. And I believe in the software, um, which was SDR Sharp I was using, you can set some sort of offset. So it all, it all works, it, it's, it's magic. You just flick a switch and then put the offset on and then uh, everything handles itself. Now, when you load up SDR Sharp, it's really cool. You get this cool display that's called a waterfall and you get all of these different types of radio uh, demodulators, I guess you want to call them, or tuny things um, to play with, and it, it's basically like Jodrell Bank. It's like you're one of those space surveying stations, it sounds like, and you can see where signals are on the screen, and when you're abroad it's a bit of fun because you're trying to snoop around at all these frequencies. So, uh, further, uh, let's, let's, cut, let's cut to the chase though. This kit is about £97 on Amazon, link below. And really, this is the dongle. Uh, it's the equivalent of that 12 quid TV dongle, um, but it's in a nice metal box. And the reason it's so neat is that you can put several of them together. So that it's the spacing is designed so that you could put them all in a line. So, for example, you could shove a couple of them in a Raspberry Pi, or if you had a PC with like five slots, they should nicely fit in all the slots. That's at least the idea behind it. And. Um, that, so that's the receiver, that's the actual down converter, and you can see it's got a, sorry, up converter. It's got a pass-through mode where it's effectively off, and then in up convert mode it will start shifting all of those frequencies. You've got this little um, antenna, and I know it looks a bit weedy, because it is, but remember all the frequencies that you're, you're looking at are quite um, high frequency. So for example, that might be uh, up around the, say, gig band. That could be um, a bit lower than that. And then this one's right down in your sort of FM TV type bands there. Um, and that's where you have this thing comes in if you're trying to pick up the ham stuff because this is like your ballon. Uh, and to that you would attach a couple of pieces of wire or a couple of meters each, you know, one on each side and have them, you know, as a, as a kind of a this shape. Yeah, go and just pin them up outside somewhere. Look, it's got a little picture of an antenna in case you, you weren't aware what an antenna looked like. There you go. Stretch it out like that. That would work too, you know, just on a couple of uh, bits of wood or something. And uh, that would get you lower frequencies. Um, so, again, the reason I opted for this, and I'm not an expert, is just because I wanted to buy one kit that had probably everything I'm likely to need or want uh, as a hobby, yeah? I don't want to buy any more stuff, I just want one purchase where I can just get this, maybe get a nice little antenna 
one of those fancy antennas that does all the different bands. Um, because if you, if you get it right, apparently, you, you can pick up um, weather satellites and all of that fun stuff, which is right up my street, to be honest with you. And if you look on YouTube, there's loads of people with different videos uh, doing exactly that. And it actually has a little map appearing on their screen, you know, showing them the, what the weather satellites see. So that's pretty cool. I also like aeroplanes um, and, you know, the ability to listen to their transponders and see their GPS information and tack that on the map is, is groovy. So a little bit about these connections, though. Uh, you can see here how this all goes together. So that, um, if you don't have an interconnect wire, by the way, um, would connect somewhat like this to here and then that would connect to your antenna wires I'm guessing you probably want some shielded coax a bit like bit like this between that to get it outside depending on how close to a window you are this is a, an adapter with an F connector on it which is a bit like your satellite LNB type connectors and in fact I probably have quite a lot of old satellite cables sitting around um, which is not connected to a dish anymore or not used on a dish so that could be fun to hook that up and this is your tv type connector your normal rf connector so you could plug that straight into the wall if you've already got a, an antenna in your loft so i've connected to here and i've got this little interconnector here the other thing you're going to need though i like this thing noise out optional and there's no noise out um, what else you're going to need for this though is power because it, it does need power and that's why they give you this USB A lead, which is quite a long lead. Um, considering this is going to be plugged into your PC <laughs> and that is, they could be a bit shorter, but I suppose you might want this on your desk somewhere where you can just get to it to hit that switch. So all that remains for me now to try this is really just to plug it all in and hook it up. Um, I wonder if this base is magnetic, that could be useful be magnetic so I'm just going to try that let's see it is magnetic indeed so if you've got um, an old baking tray or something it might be beneficial to you to put it on that to act as a, a ground plane for it and I hope I'll be playing with this I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to do on it though because I say there's plenty of people who really know their stuff um, but if you're sitting on the fence, honestly, uh, spend between 12 and 25 pounds on the cheaper ones of these, which just the kit just comes with this, I think, and an antenna, and that is absolutely enough for you to just start listening to stuff. Um, again, this is only if you want to really start experiencing that lower band, and um, maybe you might want to experience a higher band, and probably an equivalent for that, or a better one of these. Um, but for FM the citizens band and the uh, I want to say you know the little radios you, you give your kids all of that stuff you should be able to pick up with just the standard one so let me know down below if you are an SDR fan and uh, maybe we could start a, a chat group on our discord because I know that Andy Beer Sad Ken has got a Raspberry Pi set up doing this and another friend of mine who's not on the discord unfortunately has set up some sort of external one that does all sorts of stuff and provides telemetry and all, all sorts of goodness so yeah you can definitely have a lot of fun with this for very little money really um, because even if you want to get a great antenna the great antennas seem to be 50 quid you know so you really this is a fun hobby that's affordable now that you don't have to buy those very big um, big old receivers with all the fancy Yesu or whatever receivers so let me know, let's speak soon, and as ever, thank you for watching.